of Woman Crush Wednesday with Franciscan Health. Every Wednesday this month, we're going to be featuring some very powerful women in country music all while raising awareness for breast cancer. I'm so glad that you are here to be a part of it. I want to say a big thank you to our friends over at Franciscan Health. They have developed the Franciscan Health Foundation, which was designed to assist cancer patients who are currently fighting the battle along with those who have survived the battle but still need assistance. And that's what we're going to be raising money for. So when you get a chance, click the link below, make a donation, share it with your friends, all for a great cause. Um, and like I mentioned, this is the first night for Woman Crush Wednesday. A week from tonight, we have Lindsay L. going to be doing the honors, Lauren Elena on the 21st, and Maren Morris on the 28th to close out Woman Crush Wednesday with Franciscan Health. So very excited. All shows going to be streamed right here on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe for updates. Okay, almost show time. Uh, I want to check in with these ladies before we get things started. So let's see what they've been up to. Please welcome Wheelhouse Records Recording Group, Runaway June. Well, thank you, ladies, for making the time for me today and uh, for us in Woman Crush Wednesday. I'm so excited to have you guys be a part of this. You're kicking off our Woman Crush Wednesday this year. Hey! so exciting. We are very excited about this. We're hoping that um, you can be a part of our in-person shows maybe next year or the following. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so. Fingers crossed. Fingers <laughs> crossed for sure. It's... I know it's been a crazy year for you guys because you kind of had some changes, but I feel like you just hit the ground running with Natalie. I mean, it's been, what's the chemistry been like so far? It has been oh. amazing for me. I don't know what they're used to, but for me coming in, it's been just the greatest ever. And, you know, and it's a weird time. I mean, normally we'd be on the road right now and we'd be able to, I mean, we'd be forced to hang out in very close quarters a whole bunch and, we had to do most of our getting to know each other and hanging originally on like FaceTime and Zoom, you know, yeah. so that's weird, but we've been able to, I mean, we've been working on the Christmas EP and we're starting to work on the new record. And so being able to be a little more intimate, which is what the studio provides, has actually been a really cool way to start this journey with the girls. I bet. I bet. And I mean, it's got to be fun with with all females. Speaking of which, Naomi's trying to, to log in. So let me have her join our conversation before I just leave her out. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Yes! There she is! Happy birthday! Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yay! You. you guys are so I'm cute. Having, <laughs> I'm having the best day. Yay! Hey, Natalie. Y'all have so you looked so pretty at the Opry. Like the the was Oh there, my gosh, yeah. Not yesterday, the night before. I was like, you're a knockout. <laughs> oh, thank you. It was fun. We went a little more glam just because it was the big 95th birthday celebration. Yeah. To do like both the TV and the live stream, and it was really fun. Oh, right. you just look so in your flow. It's like more than just the glam. It's like you look like you're, like, you're peaking right now. It's awesome. <laughs> well, I got to say, for all of us, it was, it was awesome because it was the first time they allowed people back in. So there were 500 people there. So they had them socially distanced and all masked up. But because the Opry seats like 4,500, I think, like, that's a low amount of people in there, even though it's 500, which is a lot. Yeah. <sighs> it's good signs. It was like... I forgot. I honestly forgot. Even though I've spent the last 15 years playing on the road, I forgot the difference because we're so used to having to play to cameras now and it being not a conversation. I know. That's what I've been afraid of. And it was like having people in the room. I was in full hype mode all night and I couldn't rein it in because I was so happy to have that energy again. It was just... Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you could be a part of our Woman Crush Wednesday. I do want to hit on this Christmas EP that's uh, going to be coming out next Friday. You guys have some original songs on there? Yes. Yes, we have two. And uh, three covers. And so um, it's always, I mean, like Naomi says, making Christmas music is kind of nice because people already love the songs, you know. So yes. uh, we get to kind of do our own take on them. And then we had two originals, which are really fun too and we're really excited about it. Jen wrote one of those. She wrote our title track, which oh. is so exciting. 
<laughs> that is very exciting. I can't wait to listen to it. I'm one of those who can listen to Christmas music probably any time of the year outside of August. <laughs> yeah. Same. We're actually making the, uh, the um, EP in August. Where, weren't we? Was it August, girls? Kind of all summer, yeah. Yeah. And, well, we started, uh, we started writing it. Well, we started recording in, in June, but Jen and, I, Jen and I have kind of like started the Christmas process prior to that, like quite a bit. Like we started talking about making this Christmas EP like in January of last year. Mm -hmm. um, and then we started like getting it together and getting the label to approve it, finding the producer. Then Natalie came in. Um, and then she was a part of the process and then we started recording in, in June, but it's been in the works for a while now. For a while. I can't wait to hear it. I know it's going to be incredible. Aww. It's fun. <laughs> <Pretty good. laughs> well, it's October. I don't want to get, um, outside of that, but, uh, breast cancer awareness month is here. And I'm so very grateful that you ladies are going to be a part of our woman crush Wednesday and, um, I know that cancer has touched so many of us, and, and I have to ask, have, have any of you been affected by breast cancer, or maybe know someone who has? My, um, my grandmother, who lived to be 105, she got wow. breast cancer at 86, and she was just such a champion. I mean, 86 is already like, you know, that's a scary time to have anything happen. But she just went into that surgery, got it taken care of, went through all the treatments and was, you know, just healthy as a horse right after. So, wow. That's amazing. Man, you know, this, I, I think every single one of us, especially the girls right here talking, has known someone. And if it hasn't directly affected your family, know someone or know somebody who has had it or has it um and the statistics are that one of us it, talking right now will have it at some point in our life so yeah i think more now than ever every single person is responsible to do their part um to finding out what the cures are what the preventions are to take care of yourself to pass it down to younger generations to make sure they're getting checked earlier you know like breast cancer is now being detected in 22 year olds i mean it is yes. wild so it's not something you really think about when you're 18, 19, 20. And it's hopefully we can start um, being the generation that will pass that down to younger girls by taking out an example, by really just caring about this. Because I think there's a little bit of an element that we're all a little desensitized to it too, because it's so prevalent. It's happening so much. It's like, it's really horrific. Yeah. Um, so and we need to be careful to like, do, do what we need to do to make sure people are aware. Yeah, that's what I was going to say with what Naomi said. Uh, my, one of my best friends got breast cancer very young, and she's actually the one who started Opry Goes Pink. Oh. Um, it, you know, you would never think at, like, 25 that you're going to get it. And so I think that awareness is a huge – I've learned just so much from her and her going through it and being a survivor and, like, all the stuff that she's done – just like starting Opry Goes Pink, like she is dedicating her life to helping people become aware of that, especially young women and knowing that like it could happen to you and we all need to know how to test ourselves and how to check. And, you know, if you catch it early, it's, it's your chances are a lot better. They, <laughs> so, they really are. Yeah. Is a big thing. It's amazing the age difference, as you mentioned, Natalie, with your grandma and then knowing, you know, 22 year olds who are having it too. It's just... Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I had a friend that found out that she had breast cancer and she was 27 um, while she was pregnant. Oh my and goodness. It was uh, one of those things where the pregnancy kind of saved her life because the hormones can make the tumors grow faster. And so they might not have detected it as quickly if the if she hadn't have been pregnant. But I also wow. didn't realize until she went through this that that you can go through chemo. You can't have surgery, but you can go through chemo while pregnant and it doesn't affect the baby. So she was able to get it under control. So it didn't take over her life. Cause that was really the only treatment that they had to help her. But then as soon as she had her little girl, they took care of her. And then now her little girl is 10 years old. I mean, she's, Oh my God. I mean, they're, they're both healthy as can be. So, but it is those things of like not being afraid to check ourselves. Cause I've, right. can say I've gone through that before where I've felt something. I've been like, Ooh, I don't even, I don't even want to 
check it because it it's scary. Right. Wrong attitude. Right. <laughs> yeah. Call your doctor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Call and get it checked out immediately. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's what we're here to do, honestly. I mean, um, those of us who, who are younger and those of us who are older, if we don't have it, we haven't seen anything, raising awareness is the best thing that we can do and supporting each other. And that's, that's what we're here to do. Yeah. I'm so excited for Women Crush Wednesday. I could not ask for a better group to kick this <laughs> off. Seriously. <laughs> well, I don't want to take up too much of your time because um, I know that y'all are busy. So uh, thank you so much for, for getting this started for us. And thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thank you for having us. It's so good to be here. Good to see you guys. All right, I'll let you get to it. Yes, yeah. (laughs) Bye. Bye.